we're gonna take a look at Chest Shop. A Minecraft plugin I've used a lot in the past. I've even used it in one of my most popular videos, where I show how to create a player shop on your Minecraft server. Still, I've never actually made a video where I cover Chest Shop and how it exactly works. So today, that is exactly what we will be doing. Before we start though, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description that will take you to the chest shop's big MC page. Now the plugin is 100% free so you got nothing to lose. Also under tested Minecraft versions it says that the latest tested version is 1.19. Now while this might put some people off I can assure you it works perfectly fine on 1.20. So over here you just want to click on download now to download the plugin and then you want to click on the other link in the description that will take you to the Spigot MC page of Vault. So for those who don't know, Vault is an API that you will need for most economy plugins to work. Because for Chest Shop we need a working economy, you will also need to install Vault. Also, once again, I know it says native version 1.14, tested only up to 1.17, it works perfectly fine with 1.20, so nothing to worry about. Simply click on download now, then go to your Minecraft server folder, look for the plugins folder, and in there you simply want to drag the downloaded files. Now, if you're hosting your Minecraft server at channel partner alien host you can simply go to the plugins tab at the left of your screen and over here we can type in whatever plugin we want to install for example a vault and there it is so we can now simply click on install wait for a little bit and that's it if you want to check out alien host i will leave a link in the description as well as a promo code so you can save 20 percent on your first month after installing you simply want to restart your minecraft server and now we're ready to go so of course this plugin is called chest shop meaning that the the only thing we need to create a shop is a chest, a sign, and some kind of item we want to sell. In my case, I'm going to grab some diamonds. Place down a chest. Put items inside, for example, the diamonds. And after that, we're going to grab a sign and right click on the chest. And now we need to do some formatting so that the plugin and other players actually know for how much we sell the diamonds and also if we're willing to buy diamonds from players. So on the first line, you want to put absolutely nothing. We're just going to keep it empty. The first line will automatically be filled with your player name. So in my case, it will say Kasai Sora there. Then on the second line, we're gonna put in the amount. So not the amount of money, but the amount of items people should be able to buy or sell at once. So let's say that I put five here. That means that people can only purchase diamonds per five. If you put it to 64, then you will purchase a whole stack at once. I'm gonna do five though. That's fine for now. Then on the next line, we're gonna specify the price. We need to specify a buy price and a sell price. So I've actually seen a lot of confusion around this. Let's say another player passes by this shop. They see the chest and they want to purchase five diamonds. Then a lot of people actually put an S here. As in, I, Kasasura, wants to sell five diamonds to another player. But that is wrong. What you actually want to put here is a B. The B that stands for buy. So you're basically creating this sign from the perspective of a customer. So when it would put B space 10 here, that means that a person will be able to purchase five diamonds for 10. Now we could leave it at that. Now it is just a buy shop. But what you can also do is make it so that players can sell their diamonds to us. So the way you want to do that is just press space, after that colon, a space again, and now you want to specify the sell price. So the price that a player will receive when they sell their diamonds to us. I'm gonna put that at 5. And then you want to type in one more space and then type an S, which of course stands for sell. Then we just need one more enter and over here we're gonna type in the item ID. In my case that will be diamond. If you don't know what the ID of your item is, you can also simply put a question mark here. The question mark will actually autofill to an item that's inside of the chest. So when we now press on done, you can see the shop has automatically been created. The first line has been filled with Kasasura. Then on the second line, we got the amount. Buy for 10, sell for 5, diamonds. So here I am in game with my second account, Bradshop. Hi there! 
what's up? Now, here is the shop that Casa Zora created. When we now right click on this shop, there we go. I got five diamonds. Now, I'm not able to open the chest at all. It is protected. If you click on there, you will get some shop information. So, who's the owner? How much stock is there left? What item is it about? What is the buy price? And what is the sell price? So, I just spent $10 to buy these five diamonds. If I would now like to sell these five diamonds, I can just left click on the sign. And there we go. You sold five diamonds to Casa Sora. In other words, I just lost $5, basically. That is why you got to be pretty careful with the sell thingy, as if someone has a lot of diamonds, they could make you completely broke. Now, something that you can also do is create an admin shop. Now, an admin shop basically has no bank account attached to it. So, while if I sell items to this chest, Casa Sora will lose money, if it's an admin shop, nobody will lose money. Now, of course, only an admin of the server, aka somebody who has the right permissions, will be able to create an admin shop. Creating an admin shop works pretty much the same. Only on the first line, you want to type admin shop. So let's do 10. Then I'm going to do S and I'm going to put it to 10. And then on the last line, we're going to type in diamonds. Admin shop has been created. Now what I can do is just purchase diamonds from this chest shop. Just like that. There we go. And now I can sell them to this chest again. <laughs> I'm still losing money though. It's it's not the best money making method. But I received a total of $30. Nobody lost money though. Because well it's an admin shop. What's also pretty cool admin shops do not require a chest at all. So I could just put a sign on this wall. There we go. It works. I can purchase 64 diamonds for just one dollar. Now this is not coming from any chest. These diamonds are just getting spawned in basically. Now last thing, over here you can see the permission notes. These are the permissions you want to give to players so that they can actually start using these shops. I will just give everyone the chest shop dot shop dot star permission. That will include all of these permissions and it will basically allow them to create shops, buy at shops and sell at shops. Your mods, you might want to give the chest shop mod permission which basically allows them to open any chest shop and for the admins you can just give chest shop dot admin and then guys that's gonna be it bread shop is ending today's video i really really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>